<laughs> What's up, guys? We're here at AMC. Speaking about all the money we've lost. Times Square. <laughs> We're chasing cinema. Mr. James. I'm sure I wish you a happy new year, sir. Dot com, and instead of making millions of dollars, we're here talking about movies. Talking about Point Break. Oof. <laughs> Is this gonna be the break? In point? Um, so Point Break, everyone knows Catherine Bigelow, the Avatar, James Cameron's wife, directed the movie Kanyano Reeves and Patrick Swayze. You didn't name her biggest film. The Hurt Locker. Yes. But you know, she did Point Break, and, and, I, like, and I like Point and Break more than Hurt Locker. The one about killing um, Bin Laden. I know this what it's called. Uh, You're not naming her two biggest films. Three. Well, yeah, because I like Point Break more than both those films. Zero Dark Thirty. Call it back. Um, because I grew up watching Point Break, like most of you. Johnny Utah, Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze is Brody uh, about surfing the waves, bro. Not the web, but the waves, bro. And uh, you know heists, and you know, of course, that classic shot where he shoots in the air. Did you ever see Point Break? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Well, then, uh, let me tell you the story. Point Break is basically about a man who decides to go undercover and uh, track down this this surfing group that uh, might be the same people robbing some banks. But in this movie, it's not just surfing. It's pretty much extreme sports. Uh, in March, I was at CinemaCon and I had the abil I had uh, the amazing opportunity to sit not, down. Not the ability. <laughs> not the ability. Yeah, the ability the, to sit down during a very very uh, secluded press conference um, about what the Point Break director and the casting crew about how they decided to make this movie and why extreme sports were going to be the highlight of this movie. Um, base jumping. We do live in the Red Bull society world. Yes, so. everyone wants to do crazy things. I mean, you got motocross, you got surfing, base jumping, um, when you jump out of an airplane. Love it. Um, what's With that called? hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, what's that called though? Skydiving? Skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do none of that stuff. <laughs> I watched the movie. Um, but yeah, all that stuff. And they were like, you know, we had real stunt guys go out there and do a lot of this work. They had stunt coordinators there. Um, and I was really kind of excited to go into seeing this movie, even though I was a bit hesitant because of how much I enjoyed Point Break. So I'm excited to see how this movie turns out. It's the last movie I will see for 2015 because I've seen everything else. It's gonna be wrapping it up here for me. Hopefully it's a good way to go out. Real quick tidbit for all the youngins. They believe that Fast and Furious, that Point Break is a ripoff of Fast and Furious because Fast and Furious and Point Break have basically the identical storyline. A lot of little tidbit people don't know that Fast and Furious is based on Point Break. Yes, yeah, right Point Break. Even though I've never seen it and even though I'm a live free, die hard yes. um, fan of Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious is based, based off Point Break, not vice versa. So anyone who's watching Point Break is saying, this is a rip on Fast and Furious. It's the other way around. Just want to throw that out. How long is the movie? Uh, it's about two hours, and it, this movie combined with the old Point Break will never see the light of day of much money as Fast and Furious though. So I will say that. Fast and Furious has that on their site, no matter. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> like they... Money-wise, yeah. I'm sure you could probably combine two in like five, and it'll still make more money than both Point Breaks put together. But nonetheless, Point Break, Brody, Johnny Utah, let's go. Holla back. So, we're about to get Fast and Furious 8. However, after you just got out of Point Break, will we see Point Break reach to part eight? No. Um, <laughs> no. I think the last... Four or five months, we've been experiencing amazing things, and for my last movie to be this... <laughs> <laughs> it's a 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was... Is it really? Yeah. Oh man, I didn't even know that. It was awful. It was so bad. And that's so disappointing. I had just a great year. All these movies were amazing, and I go sit in Point Break, and I'm like, why? Why? Um, this movie is just... Besides the stunts, and the stunts are going to be the one thing anyone will be able to vouch for this movie, this movie is just bad, careless filmmaking. It's lazy, the acting is bad, the, uh, the plot is just off, I mean, it's cheesy, it's laughable, I mean, there are people laughing out loud at dialogue, at serious dialogue moments because of how ridiculous it is. Um, just we, go on. We do <laughs> laugh at dialogue in Fast and Furious though. We do, but people are forgiven for Fast and Furious. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'll mind that, right? But this movie is so bad, it gets, it's, it's painful. And I, and I try not to be mean on that, but I mean, this was a really poor experience. I mean, people walked out of a free screening <laughs> of Point Break. 
four percent. Ah, God. Uh, and, and you know, in like being there at CinemaCon and talking to the actors and um, the filmmaker, you know, I, I, part of me really wanted this movie to do good. I was hesitant. I'm a fan of Point Break, and it's it's nothing to do with like, oh, I love the more original. No, this is just a bad movie. And unfortunately, they come out sometimes where people just take a property, they throw it on a poster to make to make money. It was like everyone just wanted to hang out and do stunts. And they were like, hey man, bring a camera. And then they just put a title on. Or you could have just gone to the Red Bull YouTube channel. Yeah, exactly. And much more entertaining and shorter. <laughs> and no special effects. No, yeah, well, this movie like prided itself on the fact that these stunts were done. Like five guys really did base oh, jump okay. and okay. like really filmed on a GoPro. But even that was not enough for me to be entertained. I was bored throughout the entire movie. Like I said, when you watch, when you see free people, like people walk out of a free screening, that's crazy, and uh, it happened. I'm not gonna lie, I still want to watch it. Uh, go ahead, man. But uh, yeah, it was not fun. I, would, I was um, not happy, and it's like it's not even something. And I'm not even writing a review on it. Uh, this is gonna be a video review exclusive, just because, well, just because there's a lot of movies coming on the holiday anyway. So that means and, just go to chasingcinema.com. Yeah, period. And you can see all of my reviews of the award films coming out. And there were six other movies that came out on Christmas. This would have just been buried at the bottom anyway. Uh, and yeah, it, it's really not that good. I don't have much to say about it. I mean, it was a movie that I really just hated. Hated. Can you share with everyone the potential drama that they're trying to potentially maybe cause with uh, Revenant and The Hateful Eight? Maybe, maybe. So, yeah, there's, there's a whole thing out there right now uh, that, if you don't know what a screener is, a screener is a, is a, is a DVD that is mailed out from movie studios to film critics uh, uh, and to Academy members, people who need you to vote get for those. Award. I get screeners. Um, the Academy Award, people who vote for the Academy Awards get screeners. So, they, you know, big famous celebrities, not me, but they don't have time to go to the movies and see these movies. Not yet. Yeah, so they'll just mail it to them. Well, two leaked. I want to say on like the 22nd or 23rd. And it was The Revenant and Hateful Eight. Which is three days for both films to come out. Revenant and Select Cities, but... Yeah, Revenant and Select Cities, unfortunately not us. But um, those two movies leaked. And the, it seems that the Oscar... They were Oscar screeners, which means that they were members of the Voting Academy Arts and Sciences. <laughs> and they were traced back to the producer of Point Break. <laughs> <laughs> so some are claiming that it was on purpose to sad people see, all right, well, I've seen this movie and this movie, guess we'll go see Point Break on Christmas. Don't know if it worked. I have no idea how much this movie made. No, it's not doing well. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, it's not doing well. I don't think it was appealing trailer-wise. I don't think it had a good marketing team, and I don't think it's good. So for people who saw it, probably went and got a refund. But the fun part, too, is he did all that, and because of the repercussions of the being able to technology, finding out who yeah, it's yeah, from. Yeah, very, very serious What business. could happen to this guy? Uh, um, I would assume that this man is going to be kicked out of the Academy of <laughs> I, I would think it has to. Not one, but two? Now, I, I could be wrong. You know, reports, new reports could come out and say, like, oh, you know, but who knows what exactly happened. But for them to be traced back to him in the first place, come on. You, no one just says that and go, oh, that's not a coincidence. Yeah. You know? Uh, not good, though. And I'm really bummed because, you know, even if that was accident or not, for The Revenant, a movie that, or even Hate Flight, that people are going to resort to watching that on, on, on the computer screens or, or, you know, not giving that movie the money it deserves, if, if, if you will, uh, it's kind of a bummer, you know? I would hope no one watches The Revenant or Hate Flight on the computer screen because they're both films that are much worth watching on a big screen. Love it. Um, there are so many movies that just came out Christmas weekend, guys, that's already online. Hate Flight online. Joy online. The Big Short online. We just did this one. Point Break, yes. obviously you're watching it. And hatefully, I said that already. Yep. So plenty of reviews. Concussion. Concussion with Will Smith already online. It was a great year for movies. 2050 is coming to a close. And we appreciate everyone that's been watching, viewing, yes. liking, commenting, telling that that idiot Asian Chinese dude doesn't know what he's talking about in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten a lot of feedback on that, guys. So I know. It's not his fault. We appreciate it. Um, we appreciate it. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled because in 2016, me and Mr. James, you got huge things planned for everybody. Uh, you think you see us a lot now. Just wait till next year. Um, and also, make sure to tune into our top 10 movies of the year, which will be an upcoming video that we'll be publishing very soon. That we'll be opening with 2015. Yes. Love it. I'm excited. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And for everyone that doesn't know, ChaseTheCinema.com is the Film Lovers website.